Consider a hypothetical scenario in which the realities of regal life are so shocking that even fairy tales would blush. In such a world, any action, excursion, or health rumor would be subject to public scrutiny and media dissection. Greetings and welcome to the consequences of a contentious video in which Duchess of Cambridge Kate Middleton was prominently featured. A glance that sparked unprecedented commotion in the royal goblet, prompting rumors concerning Kate's well-being and, dare we say, cosmetic improvements. While these rumors may provoke intrigue or unease, they undeniably draw attention to the eternal challenge that the royal family faces. Reconciling public opinion with confidentiality in the face of unrelenting media scrutiny. Upon entering the public sphere, the aforementioned video elicited a response that was simultaneously reverenced and criticized. Adversaries promptly raised their banners of conspiracy, casting doubt on the veracity of Kate's purported ailment as a pretense for cosmetic procedures. This conjecture ignited a torrential deluge of mistrust directed at the couple, thereby undermining the royal family's facade of credibility. William and Kate were embroiled in a strategic dilemma where they had to contend with public opinion and chess against it in order to reclaim narrative control in the face of circulating falsehoods and deceit. The backlash was both immediate and severe. The Duchess's benevolence cup, which had been previously overflowing, appeared perilously near depletion at this moment. The critique was not limited to clandestine discussions. Rather, it boldly appeared on the covers of tabloids and became a trending topic on social media. Central to this contentious issue was a fundamental flurry. In an age dominated by the swift propagation of information and misinformation, could the royal family, an establishment entrenched in formality and tradition, adapt in order to regain esteem and confidence? The relationship between the press and the royal family has always been more complex than a Facebook status could fully capture. Nevertheless, the digital era has transformed this contentious mother-in-law dynamic into a reality television spectacle. Kate's ordeal inexorably prompted parallels to be drawn with the paparazzi pursuit of Princess Diana. The context has nevertheless evolved, or devolved, depending on one's perspective. Presently, the rapidity with which public opinion is influenced by tweets, posts, and shares is comparable to the rate at which a butler at Buckingham Palace can request more tea, ma'am. Amidst the tumultuous mastro of murmurs and speculation, a solitary beacon illuminates the way forward, transparency. Sincere correspondence emanating from the monarchy has the potential to restore public confidence. The appetite of the general public for authenticity has never been greater. In a time when virtual criticism is pervasive, the monarchy's continued existence could potentially depend on its capacity to transform from opaque entities shrouded in mystery to approachable ones willing to divulge authentic updates regarding intimate details such as Kate's welfare. For the royal family, navigating the intricate equilibrium between private and public life is comparable to navigating a tightrope during a hurricane. What is the challenge? Manipulating media scrutiny with dignity and esteem intact. While more challenging to implement in practice, the resolution can be found in strategic communication and cultivating a public relationship founded on openness and honesty as opposed to obscurity. By proactively confronting conjecture and exercising authority over their narrative, the royal family can safeguard their reputation and legacy for future generations as well as themselves.